Just worth one ingot. Did you eat it? You don't eat gold. You're going to get sick. Hey guys, we have just found into this world and we are in snapshot 20W09A, which is the newest snapshot for the 116 Nether update. Now, I know that they said they were going to make shipwrecks and ocean ruins less common so you're more excited when you find them. So, so we just spawned right there, okay? And then if we come right over here, I saw behind me, there's a shipwreck. <laughs> here, right here. This looks good, right? Yeah, looks good to me. And light her up. And let's go. I like the faster transition between the... Uh, going through the nether and you know through the portals and we spawned right into a crimson forest and there's hoglins right there so, we so the, here is the new zombified piglin he pretty much looks the same except he got a little floppy ear turn around i want to see your floppy ear he got a little floppy ear right is they have now made these vines here climbable so if you're getting chased by a hoglin, that might be your fastest way out. But don't let go of the space bar because you'll fall down. But let's see. We Yeah, so let's see. We can get up top if we're getting chased by a hoglin. Is there babies up here? Do you have baby piglins? There's a baby piglin. I'm pretty sure they updated the sounds too because... It used to just overlap and be super, super crazy, and now it is not so crazy anymore. Their sounds are a lot better. So let's also get some gold. Nope, wrong one. Let's get this gold. And he's just playing with the baby. Oh. He, he didn't like him by his baby. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. He's going to chase him down. Oh, the hogman doesn't like the warped fungi. I forgot about that. What, did you just give up? You left him half dead. Maybe three quarters dead. Why'd you give up? Where'd you go? You're so rude. Where'd he go? I wanted to trade with him. Okay, guys. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Hmm? You have this question. Hmm? You like it? Thanks. Kind of stared at it for quite a long time. Ooh, leather. Oh, there's baby piglins and hoglins. Oh, did you hear that growl? They're so cute. Are you going to pick up the pork chops? You killed them. Don't you want the food? You don't want the food. You're just, you're just killing for sport now. You're just going to leave that food to sit there and rot. Crying obsidian. That's what I was looking for. And I hear they also have fire resistance potion. Magma cream still. That's good. Your pork chops are still over there. Are you going to go get them? 
You're just a mean, evil piglin who kills for sport. That poor hoglin, what did he do to you? Nothing. And you killed him. And you're going to leave his meat just floating and rotting in the heat of the crimson forest. I'm done trading with you. Hello, would you like some gold, little piglin? Here, have some gold. What'd you give me? Five obsidian. Well, thank you, dude. You're you're a nice little piglin. You gonna get that gold right there? Look at that. That's worth nine ingots. Could I get a stack of obsidian, please? Maybe a half a stack of crying obsidian? You're just gonna keep nine ingots, and you're not gonna give me anything. You, sir, do not know how to barter. No, you don't. How about you? Yeah, there's gold in there. That's just worth one ingot. Did you eat it? You don't eat gold. You're going to get sick. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, look at the baby. Oh, look at the little baby. There we go. Oh, Splash Potion of Fire Resistance. That's awesome. You're all golded up there. More leather. Okay. The other thing. Let's get a Night Vision Potion. They're still a little bit noisy. Not too horribly bad anymore. But let's get this. You can just see a little bit better. So we're in a crimson forest. So this is red. The the atmosphere, I guess you would call it. And it used to be that once you left like the crimson forest and went, say, right here into the warped forest, it would be like a line, like boom, red, boom, pink. But now look, they got this pretty cute transition pink and a red it's not so sharp what is that oh it's an enderman <laughs> yes because enderman can spawn in the crimson forest so i like that the transition between the lighting because it's not so horrible Sarah, we will come right down here so this block is crying obsidian isn't that beautiful just look at that i love it love it love it love it um but i have heard that it is a block that has come back and i did read on twitter from the creator of crying obsidian that right now it's just a decorative block but it will have function later, but it is purposely meant to not be able to make a nether portal out of it. So some people have suggested that you would use it to um, set your reset your spawn point, and that might be how we reset our spawn point in the nether. Why do I have the particle of, oh, I still have night vision on. I could not figure out why all these particles were going around. Okay, so anyway, I think this is going to be absolutely gorgeous to build with. I absolutely love it. Now, I'm going to change a few of my settings and go into survival mode to check out a couple other things. So I'll meet you guys right back here. Okay, guys, we're back. And we're going to do a couple little experiments here. So we're going to get our Nylium. Now, you're supposed to only be able to plant the fungus on its matching Nylium. So we can plant Crimson on Crimson. And we can plant Crimson on Wart. I just, I don't understand that. The snapshot said you could, it could only be planted on its matching Nylium. So, I don't know. Whoops, wrong one. So, I'll look into that and figure out what that means. I don't think it means this stuff, does it? No, it didn't say blocks. It said Nylium. 
so yeah because you can't even plant them on this and the roots see it and it, it's supposed to only go on its own but now for the warped blocks if you have a hoe you can clean that out really fast but if you use your hand versus a hoe so if you need to clear out a bunch of warped blocks definitely use a hoe so you can get it out quickly now the other thing you can do now is plant these in flower pots so we can plant the crimson root the warped root the warped fungus and the crimson fungus all in flower pots and I gotta say this warped root in the flower pot is absolutely gorgeous I love it and I cannot wait to add that into my builds I like the crimson as well the mushrooms are cute but you know they're mushrooms but this root in here looks amazing <laughs> I really like it Sorry. okay guys so I figured this out with the snapshot so you can plant those on either of the nylium but the huge fungi will only grow on its own nylium so you can't you can't plant crimson so let's put this over here just so you can see if we plant crimson on warped it won't even let us bone meal it because it it won't grow but if you plant crimson on crimson you get a huge fungus and the other thing is these are not called fungi anymore they're called fungus because they needed a name that did not mean individual because they are not individual and the climbing vines I love the climbing vines don't do that in survival so then if we put warped nylium warped fungus we get a giant warped tree or fungus all right and so the next block that they added is the target block I kind of sounds like a a hay bale is that just because it's on sand oh, okay it, it does it kind of sounds like a hay bale and it kind of I don't know it's got a different kind of texture it's kind of neat so this emits a redstone signal now I am not a redstoner okay but we are going to experiment a little bit I think if I use redstone dust and a lamp and then we'll put the lamp right there then we need a bow and a whole lot of arrows because they said our aim is bad if we hit this oh yay it emitted a signal and oh so the closer you get I got a bullseye I got a bullseye I don't need no aim can you do it from the top too I imagine need no aim I mean I don't need no aiming practice <laughs> I got another bullseye oh yeah so the closer you get to the bullseye the stronger your red zone signal will be up to 15 and it's going to send power along your redstone line or however you redstoners do redstoney stuff and so if you <clears throat> if you hit the corner <clears throat> you'll get less of a redstone signal so let's 
Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. Let's just let's just put this out a little bit. Um, six, seven. Okay, so that's eight. So if we were to hit the very corner, see that it looked like that went to about six, maybe. Let's let's try. We hit the corner. Was I too close? I didn't even see any dust. Oh, that flashed on for just a little bit. Okay, so then if we hit the bullseye, it stays on a little bit longer. Okay, so that's definitely going to be interesting to see what kind of redstone things redstoney people come up with because, not me, I got to learn so much about redstone. But I do like this little target block thing. I think that is really cool. And from a long distance away, oh, Oh, I have an idea. Let's blow something up. I don't normally blow things up, but I think this will work. So let's take that off and let's do this. Yeah! And, yep, it blew up some of our redstone too. But that will be interesting to maybe mine down in, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. I, I can't even tell you, but it's going to be awesome. People are going to come up with awesome things, and it's going to be super awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, with the climbing vines and the new ways of growing our huge fungus, that is now fungus and not fungi, our target blocks, our updated trades with the piglins, the zombified piglins that got their cute little flappy ear and the updated sounds and the ambient nature of the nether just kind of flowing better instead of this sharp transition between biomes. I think that it is looking amazing. Now, we don't know what the crying obsidian does yet. But hopefully we will figure that out soon. Hopefully they're done with snapshots and we're just going to get our update soon. Because I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and I want it so bad on TriCraft. I want a new nether because I live in an ice biome and I want, I want blue fire and I want these warped blocks back here. Because they'll be so pretty in my ice biome. Yes, 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 yes. All right, guys. So let me know in the comments below what is your favorite part of all of these snapshots they've put out. What are you looking forward to the most out of this new nether update or the least? If you're really scared, because I know I'm going to be when we go into the nether the first time. All right, guys, so I hope you liked the video. Please leave a like, and if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.